Do you have a really echoey room that has got a big bare wall that also needs some decorations? Then I've got a solution today for you. We're gonna show you how to make these custom picture frames with the fabric print of your choice that also has got acoustic sound dampening properties. So you get the decorations as well as the sound dampening qualities. Let me tell you what's unique about these picture frames. Firstly, you can choose any print fabric that you like to, to put them on. So you can go to your fabric shop, choose whatever you, style you want to match your decor. Um, we've just chosen normal fabric, you might choose canvas or whatever, but it's up to you. The second thing is, and this is the sound dampening secret, is that uh, I've chosen acoustic felt pinboard material and I have mounted that on the front of the frame and allowed some space behind the, the felt pin board and what's gonna be the wall, right? Now that is really key to getting the sound dampening quality. It's not just the acoustic felt material, but also that space. That's gonna be the secret that's gonna make a difference for you in terms of sound dampening. So let me show you the rest of the materials you're going to need now to make these picture frames. You can choose to use the acoustic felt pin board or not, but let me show you the rest of the steps and the final product. The other materials you are gonna need for this project. So once you've measured out the size of frame that you want, you need to buy a piece of pine and measure out the 45, 45 degree line cuts that you're gonna make. You also need an equivalent length of pine molding. You see there, just something with a round edge on the outside so that when we sit on the end of the pine, when we're assembling, then it's a round edge for that material to go over. You want to have a saw to cut those 45 degree angles in the frame. I've got a handheld saw here, um, but you might also use an electric one. I've got a staple gun, you can use a manual one. I've got some brad nails, you can use normal nails for that instead. And I've got some staples for the staple gun. I'm using 12 millimeter ones and 15 millimeter ones. You can decide what length you, you need. You just need to make sure that whatever length of staple you're using goes through half, at least halfway down the piece of pine that you're using. I've got a, a hammer to nail in those stubborn staples that you want to keep. I've got a really important tool here, staple remover to take out the staples that you know, just are really not working well for you. I've also got a set of pliers there that comes in handy to pull out staples. I've got a measuring tape and I've got a uh, utility knife, standing knife. Okay, so assembly. You can see I've got my pieces of pine. I've got my 45 degree cuts. They will just sit right there together. Um, so in the next step, what that looks like is this. Yeah, just a lot, line up the pieces of wood, three staples, on each should be fine. You can see there I've put three and three and three. Uh, that will hold that really well. Carefully flip that over and then put another three, three and three staples. I went a bit crazy here. You can see I had a few accidents. That's fine. At least three, sta three staples on either side and that will make sure that that is really firm. That's not going anywhere. Once you've done that, that's when you need to then uh, put your pieces of molding on top. Um, so I've just secured that the pine molding to the pieces of pine using brad nails. You can see I've got some brad nails there. I've made sure I've put brad nails on the corners so that I have a bit of a smooth lip there. There's no, well, there's no lip, it's just smooth. And I've just put a couple of staple guns. That's really important. This is where the fabric's gonna sit over here, where your canvas is gonna sit over there. And you can see I've left a lip down the middle uh, so that my felt, of which this is an off cut, uh, will sit just a couple of millimetres below the edge of that moulding. My final step is, now you can choose to do this or not, um, is I've measured out and cut my acoustic felt panel and just let it sit right inside there and I've just stapled that to the pine as well. Um, and that is my final, my final product. Here is something I've prepared earlier. You can see I've, cho I've chosen with my family the printed fabric that we're gonna use for this frame. What we did was we laid the fabric flat on a, a soft surface and then we put the frame 
on top of that. Now you can see I've used a frame with the acoustic panel in there. You may be choosing not to use an acoustic panel. Really simple. You then pull up a piece of fabric in the middle of one of the sides of wood, put a staple there. Make sure you stretch, you go to the other side, you stretch that really firmly, directly opposite from the first staple that you did, and then you put a staple there. You do the same on the other sides. So start in the middle, first staple in the middle, stretched, pull the other side tight, put the staple in, and then what you do is you go on either side of the first staple, you go back to the start, you put one staple on either side, once again pulling the fabric taut, and then the same here, corresponding sides, staple on each side, and then again there. And you basically start from the middle and move out, alternating either side, until you've got uh, staples across the whole length of the corner. Um, now, in terms of doing the corner, all you need to do is, at the end, just make a really nice, neat, tuck them in as you're folding, and then staple it in, and that way you end up with a really nice corner there. So that from the side, it's not really visible that you've got a, a fold there. Um, and what I'm gonna do before I finish this off is just trim this these excess bits off. And that will basically give me, give me our frame. Put our finished product on the wall. There you go, Bob's your uncle.